det var det självaste. Well, that worked just fine. <laughs> Hello guys and very welcome to this little update on my Volkswagen Golf City Strummer that now has its Nissan Leaf motor installed to it. So uh, I actually catch the flu this week so I have not had a time to do so much work on it because I have actually just been laying in my bed there for a few days. But however I have started to remove the interior stuff of this car and the dash is already been taken out completely so I plan to do a little time lapse for you guys in the end of this video. And uh, why am I doing that? Well. I plan to do some welding work on the firewall here, so I really need to have all of that stuff out before I do that. And uh, I hope that you did see that short video that I did post the last week. And if you haven't done that, I will leave a link up in this corner here, so take a look at that. And there you can see when I was installing this motor in just like 45 seconds or something. And as you can see it is now installed here but it's just temporary of course because I need to check the clearance between the hood and the motor itself there. But anyway let's take a little quick look at the motor mounts here that I have created. So it took some hours to create those but it was definitely worth it. It's made in stainless steel so I don't have to redo them in my life. And this one is the original, so I did not have to change the rear left side motor mount, I just used that as it was. And you can see that it has a good clearance from the ground, even if it is uh, now 40 millimeters lower than it was when it left the factory from the beginning. And that's also the main reason why I had to create this motor mount, because you see that the original motor mount did actually fit just perfectly here, but it made the motor too high by 40 millimeters. So then, well, you understand yourself there that uh, I had some interference between the hood and this cover to this Nissan Leaf motor. So. Uh, now I just plan to uh, remove the floor mats and also the front shears. And I have cleaned everything up here. It was a lot of extra cables under the dash here. So that's uh, good to have those cables removed. Because you never know, it's really easy to have some cable fire <laughs> or stuff like that. And, uh, that's not interesting, not in an electric car at all, not in any car to say that. So um, here you can see I have just cleaned this up and uh, the dash is now not in the car anymore. So I have now plenty of room to do my wiring. And um, as I said there, I am planning to remove the floor mat so I can weld all of those tiny holes that the previous owner have done to the firewall here. You see that we have a lot of new holes that not are original. So before I paint the uh, engine bay here, I will weld all of those stuff together. Here are some more holes. So uh, yeah, that will be good to have that dash out before I do that so I don't have any fire in the car. And here I have a small dent from some kind of small crash I guess so you can see that we have a crack there and I will try to pull that metal out to its right position again before I paint everything and then when everything here is ready for sandblasting I will uh, start the work again with the motor and the clutch because as it is right now I just have a pipe between the axles in the motor and uh, the gearbox there. 
you can barely see the axles so all right let's roll the time lap of me removing the dash from this volkswagen golf city streamer and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and to all of you guys who already pressed that button i just have to say thank you so much it means so much to me but i think it means more to my channel <laughs> Thank you so much guys and I really hope I see you next time. Bye!